What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. Today's video discussion is going to be on diver training and how much it's changed over the years and why the new digital age of learning is far superior to the traditional classroom. So let's look at how diver training started. Back in the 50s, basically you would go sit with an instructor, it was one-on-one, -on -one. he would teach you skills, he'd teach you theory, and it took several weeks, if not several months, to learn. Well then, as that progressed, we started slowly getting into the digital age. I know way back when, when I learned, it was a lecture-based course from the instructor, but at the end of each night, he would pop in a VHS tape and we would watch the videos, and we had learned from the videos. Then that progressed even further, you'd still have a lecture-based course, but instead of videos, you'd pop in DVDs and you'd watch that and learn from the DVDs, to where nowadays, it is a full-blown digital course. We went from the old hardback or softback books that had the knowledge reviews in them to a full digital classroom. Now, a lot of people look at the digital classroom and they say, well, you can't really learn that much unless the instructor is there with you one-on-one. -on -one. And that is simply not the case. This video is a prime example of how people learn. You're sitting at home or you're watching on your tablet or your phone a video here on YouTube of me blabbering about diver training. And if you look up how many videos there are on YouTube of how to do something, I think it'll really shock you. People learn nowadays digitally a lot better than what they learned in the old traditional style. So with the digital age of learning, we don't really use the hard books anymore. We use apps either on our smartphone, our tablets, our iPads, or even our computer itself. Now with the digital apps, it makes things a lot easier because one, students are not restricted to when they can learn. So if a dive shop's not open, you're probably not gonna have access to that instructor. Or if the instructor has multiple students, you may not have that one-on-one -on -one access. But with the digital material, it doesn't matter. You can learn 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If it's the middle of the night and you can't sleep, you simply bring up your smartphone or your tablet and you can learn how to scuba dive. If it's the middle of the week, you're, you're at work, you're on your lunch break, you can bring up your tablet or your smartphone and you can learn how to scuba dive. So with the digital age of learning, it makes learning easier because you can do it on your own free time. So if we look back at the old books, in the back of each chapter, there was a knowledge review section where you could test yourself to see if you learned that. But the only way really to get the answers to see if you got them right or wrong is to take it to the instructor. He'd have to grade it for you. Well, nowadays with the digital age, you're going to have instant uh, notification of whether or not you got that those answers correct or not because on the digital apps as you take your test or your knowledge reviews at the end of each chapter it will tell you if you got that answer right or wrong it's also going to tell you if you got it wrong exactly why you got it wrong and it's going to help you learn so the digital age is definitely far superior to the traditional way. It's fun, it's easy, and it's more convenient for you to learn, and it's a lot easier for you to learn because you're doing it on your own time. You're not having to be held to a time frame of what the instructor or the shop can do. Now, one thing that we still do are the basic workshops. After you learn digitally, you're going to come in so that we can apply everything that you learn to practical applications. So when you learn about Archimedes principle, we're going to put it into a practical application. We're going to show you how the equipment, such as your BCD and your weights and even your lungs, apply to Archimedes principle. When we talk about Charles's law and how our body heat leaves our body 25 times faster in water. We're going to talk about during the workshop the importance of that wetsuit. So the digital age is definitely a, a better way of learning and it's here to stay for a while. So for the instructors out there that still teach the traditional method, let me talk to you for just a second. I know a lot of times and it took me for a very long time to cross that fence, to cross over to the digital age and, and understand just how superior it was to the traditional style. Now, as an instructor, we look at diving sometimes as a business, or we should be, or we shouldn't be an instructor. And we gotta look at profitability. How can I make the most money, but yet still get this information over to my student? Well, if the student's learning digitally, and I'm not having to spend that many hours with the student, then the money I take in for his class goes a lot longer, and my profitability actually goes up. So if you look at from that standpoint, the digital age not only helps the student learn more, it also helps the instructor to be a little bit more profitable because you're not spending that much time with the students. And trust me, nowadays students learn more online watching videos than what they ever do in the classroom. I know when I learned to dive, I was very, very young, and it was hard for me to stay focused one-on-one -on -one with that instructor. 
You know, I played video games. I watched movies. That's what kept my attention, and that's made it easier for me to learn. Now, the traditional way has not completely gone under, and there are still some students out there that do learn better with a one-on-one -on -one instructor. But the vast majority of newer divers out there are going to be able to learn and retain this information a lot easier using the digital method than the old traditional style of teaching. So guys, over the years, diver training has changed so much. Let me give you one more thing about the digital age, and I, and I hope it'll kind of open your mind up of why it's far superior. In the old days, we had these books, and about every two years, they would come out with a new um, publication or new information that they wanted to add to the book. And if you wanted that new information, if you wanted to become more educated, you had to buy a new book, and that costs money. Well, with the digital age of learning, all you got to do is hit refresh on your app or on the computer, and you're going to have all that new updated information free of charge. So by far, the digital age of learning how to scuba dive is here to stay. It's a lot far superior way of learning. It's a far superior way for us instructors to teach, and it really is better than the traditional method. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you disagree or if you agree with me, simply put it down in the comment section below. Hit that like or the dislike button. It doesn't really matter to me. It just lets me know that you're watching these videos. If you got any comments, concerns, or complaints, put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to you as quickly as I can. But guys, as always, I appreciate you watching our videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.